Hello, my name is Jay Hausen and I am a fifth year physics major at the Rochester Institute of Technology. I am entering this video competition because I absolutely love to build and create, especially devices that can easily demonstrate principles of science without really getting into the nitty gritty details. For me, this competition had a few other requirements. The device had to be not in commonplace, easily set up, easily explained, and easily adaptable into a permanent or semi-permanent museum display. I am calling this device the Ping Pong Ball Synchrotron, and it is based on a device demonstrated previously by Fermilab. It has four basic parts, an insulating hemisphere, electrodes on that hemisphere, a metal coated ping pong ball, and a high voltage power supply. Initially, I raise the voltage to about 16,000 volts, and then I take the ping pong ball and I gingerly toss it in. After a couple of moments, it attains a nice circular motion, as you see here. This demonstrates a few physics principles. The first and foremost is Coulomb's Law. In short, Coulomb's Law states, like charges repel and opposites attract. When the ball rolls over a particular electrode, it acquires that charge and is repelled. At the same time, it is attracted to the next electrode, which has the opposite charge. When the ball contacts that next electrode, it changes its charge to match, and the process starts all over again. Secondly are the principles of voltage. Imagine voltage being a giant hill. At the top of that hill, you have a lot of potential energy. You lose that potential energy as you fall down the hill, transforming it into kinetic energy, the energy of motion. As the ball moves between electrodes, it is falling down a hill of voltage, gaining energy, and thus speed. How fast the ball goes is directly related to its voltage, and is limited by friction and air resistance. Allow me to turn the voltage from 16 kilovolts all the way up to 30. You can see that the ball both gains speed, and it increased its height along the rim of the hemisphere. So not only are we gaining kinetic energy, but we also gained a slight amount of gravitational potential energy as well. This is also a perfect analogy to a typical synchrotron. Synchrotrons accelerate particles of a constant charge by using alternating electric fields present in cavities under ultra-high vacuum. This device accelerates the ping pong ball by alternating the charge on the ball and keeping the electrode's charge constant. Synchrotrons also force the particles to go in a circle using very strong magnetic fields. The centripetal force being exerted by the walls of the hemisphere are analogous to the magnetic fields in a real particle accelerator although a lot less expensive. All in all, this is a pretty decent device for easily demonstrating these principles, and it certainly has that wow factor. Thank you for watching.